What's up lads, today I have a Cameron Jerome review. I played with him today and I want to tell you how I feel about him. He, His name is Cameron Jerome obviously, he's from England, he plays in the Barclays, Prem for Stoke City. He's 26 years old, he's 6 foot and he varies from about 38,000 coins to 42,000 coins. And do I think he's worth it? Well, this is the team I played him in first. In goal, I have Federici, left back I have Traore, Bramble centre back with Quates, Whitaker right back, Ness centre mid, Marks, Mark Noble centre mid, Gosling centre mid, Sean White Phillips right forward, El Ganassi left forward, and Cameron Jerome up top. There he is. Alright, lads, I've shown you what team I've played in the MIM. Now I'm going to show you his in game stats and tell you does his stats re reflect his performance when he's got 67 ball control, 73 cross, his curve of dribbling, his finishing 73, which is actually quite poor, and the only green stat is his 83 shots power. Then we've got his age, he's 25, and this is all I've said. He can play as a striker and a right mid. His work rates high and medium do affect how he plays as he drops back a lot and it really gets on my nerves because he's not in really good attacking positions. His ACI acceleration, 85 jumping, 90 sprint speed, 92 stamina, 83 strength. Uh, his pace does show when he's in space, but that strength is just a big lie. He is really weak. And going on to the next stats now, he's got 82 aggression, his interception and attacking positioning. His attacking position should be a bit better, but then we've just got the same stats again. Now we're going to go on to some pros and some cons. The first pro I want to say is, he is very fast when he has space and it really does show, as defenders really find it hard to catch up with him, which I found really effective on counter-attacks. He makes very good runs and... They're just unexpected, like he runs into space, dragging players away, making more space for the players on the ball, and he's making good runs to get behind the ball and to get a shot away, and to make runs to get a chance. His finishing is uh, very good actually, when he's inside the box, you can blast it, finesse, I don't mind which either, he's gonna score them, but then we have some cons. His shooting is very, very poor. Outside the box, you've got no chance in Helen scoring. Maybe 1 in 10 shots he might score, might get on target, but no. He's very, very poor in that department. He is strong, but he always gets barged off the ball, and I don't understand it. There are some small centre-backs where he should be just bar bursting through the middle, like Mariapa. Mariapa's fast, but he's very small and weak, so he should just destroy him with pace and strength. But no, Mariapa should strengthen him off the ball, and that should never happen. There, he's very slow when there's a man on him. When players are tucking their shirt or running right behind him, it feels like he slows down, and it's really, really annoying, because any other player with his pace would just destroy them just keep running like it there's no tomorrow wouldn't affect him but when there's a player behind him it just doesn't feel right he always just slows down and always gets tackled and that's a massive problem when you've got a pacey striker who's only just pace his running his running positioning his attacking positioning leads him to being offside a lot his runs are very good but after a while because he's making really good runs it makes him offside a lot because he's got a very creative mind when running i know it sounds weird but that's what happens to me and i've noticed it guys my verdict is don't get cameron jerome he's a very poor player and he's just really not worth the money because he's just a giant teddy bear who can't do anything. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. Cheers for watching. I'll see you all next time.